Welcome back, my legends, and today we're going to talk about the Apex Titanfall Universe backstory. Now, in the Pathfinder quest book in Chapter 1, Lifeline tells Pathfinder to scan this device that basically gives us the backstory or history before Titanfall 1 and Titanfall 2. After so many years of waiting, we finally get the answer to how Hammond Robotics was created, how the IMC was formed, and all the wars that happened in this universe, and the overall message from Lifeline that greed and power was the driving force that led to so much pain and suffering in the frontier, the Outlands, and the fringe worlds that today even has division among its people. This is the history of the Titanfall Apex universe, so let's begin. The story begins in the year 2122 to the year 2192, the impact and rise of Hamming Engineering. In the year 2122, a meteor hit near St. Louis, Missouri, nearly causing a human extinction level event. After the impact, a team of scientists were dispatched to the impact site led by Dr. Sam Sheffield, for whom the asteroid and the canyon were named after. After 24 hours experimentation deep in the site, Dr. Hendrik Henry Hammond emerged with reports that his companions had died due to exposure for an unknown element dubbed Element X. Five years after the impact, Dr. Hammond presides over the influential international corporation called Hammond Engineering, and with the exclusive access to Element X, they made breakthroughs in the understanding of physics. Meanwhile, climate change and over population took a toll on earth's resources and quality of life was horrible all but for the rich the prospect of leaving earth became very popular but there was no solution to make that a reality there was until hammond engineering thanks to the help of element eggs and privileged with scientific insight hammond engineering was the pioneer in advanced interstellar colonization and in 2187 hammond unveiled its first operational interstellar jump drive which allowed Allow spacecraft to cross vast distances at velocities approaching light speed, the first drum drive expedition. Because of this, they uncover habitable planets nearby the star system and today are known as the core system. So what this means is that the new planets that people colonize are not really the original eight planets or nine if you want to count Pluto, but planets that are even farther away from the original solar system. But does this mean people still live on Earth? And yes, because Kuvin Blisk is from Earth, so people living on on earth is still a thing but the quality of life must be pretty poor in the year 2192 to the year 2292 the core systems fast fortunes are made by harvesting and transporting resources with jump drive equipment ships hammond was the leader in advanced robotics producer of rare alloys from the orgs came from their interstellar mining operations now this is basically the rise of hammond engineering because they're no longer a transportation company they're basically a mining company that gathers resources and produces robots that are way beyond any other competitor. So one could say that they might have a monopoly in the core system who rely heavily on Hammond Engineering to get their resources in order to survive. One could say that they have become dependent of them. So as Hendrik Hammond nears the end of his long life, he arranges a gradual downdraw of his involvement with Hammond Engineering. However, Hammond Engineering remains a key player in the core system where corporations maintain trade and communication routes vital to the region's survival. Attempts to regulate these corporations through central interplanetary governance are made over several occasions but ultimately fail to the organized political and economic sway. So not much has changed where big corporations influence governments but in this case planet of governments to do their bidding. So Hammond Engineering anticipates eventual hostility with many rival corporations. Who would have seen that coming? So they begin secretly orchestrating a series of political machinations, business mergers, and acquisitions with the core system. Ah, they did the old Disney practice. You see something with potential that could one day threaten your company in the future? Buy them! So with all these mergers, they were able to create the newly formed Interstellar Manufacturing Corporation or IMC. So the creation of the IMC is very interesting because it was never created with the intent of helping the core system. It was created to maintain power within Hammond Engineering. In the year 2000, 2292 to the year 2442 the frontier the atmosphere is a period of one of corporate feudalism tensions rise as competition for resources grows among the core system powerful corporation entities freelance explorers are hired to find new resources of raw materials these expeditions led to the discovery of the frontier a far off zone of star systems containing an unusually dense number of habitable planets so during this time renewable energy is not a 
thing and resources are becoming scarce where they have to explore it even further into space to find them and that's where they found the frontier which is basically planets that could be lived on that are very close to each other but unfortunately they're so far away it requires an enormous amount of investment in technology and personnel to even get there that only people like the imc could afford to do which they did by deploying fleets of pathfinding colony ships to establish routes to the frontier this begins the new space race during that period many ships are lost to accidents equipment failure or unknown causes however some expeditions successfully make landfall and begin establishing the frontier's first outpost along the wave of expeditions come a massive increase in development of robot ai to assist settlers in building their colonies hammond robotics develops a series of semi-automatic farming equipment based on antique military exoskeletons described as glorified tractors in satirical news suites of the time they are known today as titans so titans started out as basically farm equipment to help the colony settle in these new planets okay my legends so i decided to make this into two parts because i still had to talk about the wars and i decided that that could be a different video by itself because i already did a lot of editing so sorry for that but i hope i put a good perspective what happened with hammond robotics and their backstory and i'll see you all next time peace still music keeps on turning me from the worst that hurt my soul removing those from my mind